Hello everybody, once again, Jose Rodriguez here. Let's talk about nozzle blockages or clogs. And you usually discover when this happens, when you start getting weird results on your prints, instead of having a nice smooth image, you'll have lines and gaps and maybe some, you know, like areas that are just totally lacking ink. Maybe your blacks kind of become reversed maybe your reds become magenta because you're lacking yellow and so forth usually what happens is that you either have a cartridge that is not feeding ink properly especially if you're refilling or you simply didn't print for quite a while and now you begin to print you have one of those printers that may not run a preemptive cleaning cycle like canon printers do and then you discover that you have a bad result and then you come back and you run an also check only to find out that yes indeed you have some channels that are missing some nozzles let's go ahead and quickly run a nozzle check on my 8550 behind me the last time i used it was this past sunday today is actually thursday so let's see what's happening here print it should begin to print right away I've been running the Q image on clock tool almost daily on it and so it should be ready to print right now and yes it is. So we'll let it go ahead and do that now. When you get a weird result run the nozzle check immediately just stop what you're doing don't waste that paper if you just printed a little bit of the paper and you see coming out that something is not quite right just cancel trim that bad piece off and save that paper paper is sometimes expensive use it anyway this is what a bad nozzle check looks like it's very hard to see this is from an r3000 i'm sorry it's just almost impossible but there's some bad nozzles there and the owner was able to clean that whole set of channels by performing some preventive maintenance basically after all of the cleaning cycles were not really working he added some cleaning fluid to the perch pad sat the printhead right on it let it rest there for a number of hours run a cleaning cycle again and a nozzle check and eventually he got all nine channels to print perfectly so that is a good good thing okay sometimes that does not happen but let's go ahead and quickly check our nozzle check and on this printer it's a very clear one you can see immediately what you are missing or not now what is a nozzle now what is a nozzle clog technically it would literally have to be that a particular orifice little tiny microscopic opening on your printhead the ink within it dried up and it clogged Back in the days when people were drafting with drafting pens, they used India ink. And if you did not clean your drafting pen, literally running a piece of wire through the bore, it would clog and you have to use a ultrasonic cleaner to get it cleared. Otherwise, ink would not flow. Same thing happens, but at a much tinier uh, way. In other words, the openings of those nozzles are way way tinier than one of those pens literally they were just like needles that we use for injection of ink they had a bore and you just basically drew your lines with those needles attached to pens now what do you do if it's a dry a real dry nozzle and that could be because maybe the printhead was not sitting sealing itself on the perch pad because the gasket around the perch pad is gunky and is not providing a nice wet seal against it it'll dry up air can then permeate and dry up those nozzles usually the nozzle itself the little circle will have a meniscus of ink in other words ink is actually filling that little tiny orifice and sort of like this by surface tension it is remaining in that position and meniscus meaning a little spherical shape but reversed and so what happens when it is not sealed against the so-called parking station perch pad whatever you want to call it it will dry up now 
how to solve that from ever occurring in the future. Clean your gasket on that perch pad. Make sure that the gasket is able to seal against the printhead. Here's what will happen. You notice that you have bad nozzles. You look at your nozzle check and you see lines are missing. It's not perfect like my 8550 at this moment. So you run a cleaning cycle and you hear the noises. You think it's doing an effective job, but it's really not because the perch pack cannot seal against the printhead and therefore you cannot generate the vacuum that you require to suck ink out of the printhead and possibly dislodge or help dissolve whatever dried up ink is located in those nozzles. It's just not happening. You're not able to apply pressure. You're really not sucking ink out of the printhead. Therefore, that cleaning cycle is doing nothing. Okay. Now, if you're getting weird, constantly changing results on your nozzle checks, meaning random results, you may have an air leak in your printhead. That might be where the attachment of, say, a Canon CLI-42 on the Canon printhead, that seal is not being maintained and air is getting in. Okay, that could be it as well. Check that. But let's just assume that it's just simply your nozzles being dried up, for instance. So what you need to do is make sure that perch pad is clean. If you have a persistent uh, type of um, clog where the results don't really change much, they're constantly the same. That's what happened with this R3000. You should add some fluid to the perch pad, park the printer on it, turn it off, let it park itself, wait till tomorrow, and then rerun. Power back on. A Canon printer will run a cleaning cycle immediately. An Epson printer may not, so you will have to run a manual cleaning cycle and see if that helps. That will probably help, as it did in the case of this R3000. Now remember that Canon printers, unlike Epson printers, have subdivided printheads. So the nozzle plate itself is divided into zones. So if you only have, like say, one color that is affected, just run that zone. Do not run all the channels. It's wasteful. That way you can apply the vacuum force of your pump to that simple zone, either four colors or five colors. That way you're not wasting ink and spreading that vacuum unnecessarily on you know channels that don't require it okay so just remember that as soon as you see some problems in other words you know what you were getting you went on vacation you came back you power up your printer it runs a cleaning cycle if it's a canon of course and then you begin to print but you can always run into that problem where your prints are just not coming out the way they were prior to that vacation. So now it's time to run some maintenance. Epson's require you, the user, to run the maintenance yourself. So Canon printers will force you to accept that pre-print maintenance round that it runs. And so hopefully that will solve that idleness, that period of idleness, if you will. Now. These printers are really, really good, and you really have to abuse them to the point where, you know, it might be like months. I've heard stories of people having a printer literally off for a whole year, and all they do is power it back on. They have ink in the cartridges, obviously, and then the printer magically, after a cleaning cycle or two, is printing perfectly again. And by perfectly, I mean a 100% nozzle check. What I would do as well after you get that 100% nozzle check is to run yet one more head alignment. And that will ensure that you will not have any kind of little gaps or overlaps that are not related to any kind of nozzle problems. They're related to the head not being aligned with the amount of travel. In other words, the amount of ink that it lays down, that width does not match exactly the travel of the paper per pass. So you have to run that. I would do it every quarter. Okay, it's just a matter of your general printer maintenance. And so that will maintain that mechanical ability to get a perfectly aligned pass. So when you look at it, you do not see. It would be like if you took a roller on the wall and then perfectly matched the next 
pass without overlapping or creating a gap. That's what the printer has to do. All right, I hope this helped you a little bit. Um, again, this is happening to everybody. It's not something that, oh, Uncle Joe here is never going to get a clog. Of course I get a clog. It's, it's, just, an, it's just part of uh, printing. So the way to at least avoid the issues is to not only print often, if you're refilling, refill those cartridges correctly. If you are using OEM, you really should not have much of a problem with clogging. Clogging, depending, it could be dried or it could be air getting into the printhead due to your maybe not so exact refilling techniques and so forth. But anyway, regardless, you see a problem, run that nozzle check, determine which channels are affected, and on a Canon printer, you can isolate that group. Remember, on an Epson printer, you cannot, but run that cleaning cycle, then another nozzle check, and hopefully that will set you going again 100%. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And as always, happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.